there gardeners, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Today I'm out in my tomato area of the vegetable garden and I'm talking about the tomatoes. And specifically one problem that I am having that probably some of you are having from time to time too. And that is lack of production on the tomato plants, even though the tomato plants look amazing. They are full, they are rich, they have tons of nice growth on it, but they're not actually producing any kind of tomatoes. And we want tomatoes. The truth is, there's one little problem that happened this year that has caused this to happen, and it's not my fault. So you just check out these tomato plants right here. Nice, beautiful leaves, no signs of diseases, and we just have some little baby tomatoes up there. That's a cherry-style tomato that's coming along, but they're late. They're extremely late. So why is this? Well, one of the main reasons that this could happen but not in this case, is over fertilization of a nitrogen based fertilizer. That would cause all kinds of massive leaf growth and you'd end up with some really, really tall tomato plants. In this case, these are normal sized tomato plants, nothing excessively growing on them. So, and I also know I did not actually do a whole lot of extra fertilization. What I did do is I added two inches of a nice compost soil and then as I mowed my lawn, I used my lawnmower to uh, collect grass clippings. And I put a, a light layer of grass clippings down after each week. So a couple of successive weeks of mowing, I had a really nice layer of mulch. And this kept it really nice and prevented a lot of the soil-borne diseases from coming up to the bottom of the plant. It kept the, the soil wet. It kept it moist, even though we had a big drought. And that's what I'm getting to next. Tomatoes don't love to be growing uh, in temperatures in the mid 90s. And we were hitting 95 to 100 degrees consistently for several weeks, about a month earlier than, they, than we normally would here in Tennessee. Because of that, they stopped producing flowers. And the flowers that they did produce did not set pollen properly. So there was really nothing that I could do to actually get them to fruit. One possible idea would be to keep it a little bit cooler around the plant by adding some shade cloth, but I didn't do that. That temperature sensitivity usually doesn't come into play here until kind of mid-summer, probably toward the end of July. But right now, it was hitting us in June, and we had a whole month where we had less than two inches of rain here in our particular spot. We've got a rain gauge that we check and it was very low for the, the whole month of June. But as you can see these tomato plants look very healthy. They've got lots of beautiful green growth and they are definitely putting on flowers. So we're going to start getting some fruit because the temperatures have dipped back down into the lower 90s and the upper 80s and we should be able to start getting some production out of them. For example, check out that tomato. That's one of my favorite style of tomatoes called the Woodle Orange. It's a uh, kind of a beefsteak slicing style that's orange, very low acidity as well as low um, juice. It's not extremely juicy, so it's perfect when you want to put it on a burger or a sandwich or something. But it is not really producing a whole lot. One good thing about it though is if you check the bottom of the plant, Usually, you end up with blossom and rot when you have a whole lot of moisture issues. And right now, I have no signs of blossom and rot. And a lot of that is probably due to the fact that the water has not pushed away all the, all the nutrients away from the roots of the actual plant. So the plant can take it up and bring in whatever nutrients it needs from the soil. This little tomato plant is another story. You look at how small this thing is right now. This is a Paul Robeson tomato. It should be at least as tall as my little orange plant right next to it. But we had an incident where a deer got into the garden and snapped off a good chunk of it. And I wasn't even sure it was going to make it this far. But it looks like it's doing well now. We'll just have to wait a little bit longer to enjoy those tomatoes. As you can see there, we've got a bunch of flowers forming right here. This is that cherry style tomato I had a minute ago, and it is producing. So we are starting to get where we'll actually have some production. But keep in mind that the temperature is a major factor in tomato production. And if you want to try to cheat that a little bit, consider a row cover or shade cloth during those really hot days to try to keep the temperature cooler. Also keep the roots cooler by 
giving them a good deep watering early in the morning to help keep them a lower temperature in the soil. So I hope you enjoyed looking at my tomato plants. I really enjoy looking at my tomato plants too. So if you do and you want to see more of my tomato plants, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on Growing the Home Garden. Thanks for watching.